Okay, let me see if this works and how it works. I've linked my uh, camera with my Mac after uploading uh, Android software to the iMac because um, it was taking a very long time to upload videos here in Virginia. It wasn't taking anywhere near as long when I was in Florida, but I was also being charged some uh, uh, data usage time. Well, I was getting charged that in Florida also, but that was before I finally got Wi-Fi going in Florida. Um, and it wasn't working to stop my extra dated usage by thinking that I was going to upload the videos by putting the wire directly into the iPad, uh, yeah, into the iMac, and that may have been because I didn't have the Android upload or the Android file transfer uh, piece of software. Uh, into the Mac. This Mac is now uh, seven years old. Actually, eight. Eight years old. Um, so, uh, but I I have no need to replace it, although I think I may bring it to um, Best Buy and see if the geeks can work on it because it keeps on telling me that I don't have enough data just simply to run like my, um, you know, even my email program. And then, you know, and then that issue will just sort of go away and not, and not show itself as a problem anymore. So, um, you know, I eventually will reboot um, but, you know, it, it, it very well may be clogged up with some junk at this point point in time, having owned it for so long. I don't know how to really clean it out and do things like that, so they might know. Um, anyway, um, I went to Home Depot today. Uh, I'm doing, well, I, I'm in the midst of many different projects. A few of the projects are... Uh, hopefully eventually going to be generating a little bit of money. And um, so several of them are going to be interrelated so that I don't have to double up my efforts. Uh, the time that I spend on certain things are going to... Um, um, you know, uh, be in sync with each other, going to, uh, be in synergy. So, um, I mean, for instance, on YouTube, you can talk about anything that you do in life and create content in the meantime. And, um, you know, I hadn't paid attention to YouTube monetization in many, many years, but uh, it looks like YouTube has been solid for uh, a number of years now in their payout plans. I mean, they were going back and forth for a while there. I mean, there was a time in the early early days where I was a YouTube partner, and I think I received a, a couple of checks from YouTube. Um, you know, not um, much of anything. But then they they kept changing their minds about what the rules were for monetizate monetizing videos. How you know, what the, what the whole rules were, and then, um, and then they deplatformed people, and, you know, uh, 
early on, I really um, decided not to not to worry about that whole thing. It was it seemed too complicated with not that much payoff and with the rules changing all the time. I went through that with eBay where they they kept changing the rules and then I went through that with Cafe Press where they kept changing the rules. So it seemed like, yeah, that's, you know, before you know it, uh, it seemed like YouTube was just going to decide that, uh, they changed their mind completely about making payments to content providers. So I, I just, uh, hadn't really thought about that option for myself in a long, long time. And, um, and in fact, I had made hundreds and hundreds of my videos private. So over the last two days, I've made them public, public again, because, um, I did just a couple of quick peeks with some people's videos and saw that um, I saw the latest, well, um, the, the, the latest rule change, and uh, in, in, it appears that for at least a couple of years, this has been um, what the rules are for uh, having your videos monetized is that you have to have clean content, no cursing, nothing super highly controversial. And, you know, I wouldn't be doing that these days because, you know, my president isn't in office anymore. So, um, uh, then, and then the numbers game is, uh, you need a thousand subscribers and I'm at 700 something just from way back when. And then you need 4,000 hours of viewing time in the past 365 days. So, um, so I'm kind of kicking myself now for, uh, for have, for, you know, shutting down all of the videos that could have at least been accumulating some hours, if not subscribers. So, um, you know, I've been feeling kind of chatty lately and, um, you know, I would like to, uh, get some, get up, up to the 1000 subscribers and the, the 4,000 hours seem to be, uh, something that will take a while, but, um, but it's going to interrelate to some other things that I'm doing with some Facebook, Facebook things. And, um, it's probably not going to relate really to my Etsy store that may, that may go by the wayside, uh, at least with the, the doggy toys that may go away. But, um, anyway, um, I went to Home Depot today and I bought these, uh, super petunias. Now, um, what I have discovered over the years, now these are very, very, very small buds. They usually are much larger, so I hope I didn't buy a different variety than usual. I just hope that they just ended up being small, being maybe early in the season. But um, I've had very, very good success with them. Um, now, they apparently uh, also have a different name. Well, um, they're also called Royal, uh, M A G E N T A. 
well, uh, that's just a type of petunia. Apparently. Okay, so I it says petunia here, but uh, some people on the internet have said, no, they're not actually a petunia variety. They're something else. But, but anyway, they grow very, very uh, rapidly and, uh, you know, abundantly and full and they creep. And so, uh, and they last throughout the year, they bloom throughout the year. And you don't have to buy very many plants like this. They're not super cheap that these were $4.98. Um, um, but, um, uh, yeah, actually that, that wasn't too bad because sometimes they only sell them in tall, um, tall square containers that are about, uh, they can be about $20 each. So it wasn't too bad. I bought two of these and, um, I'm, I am possibly going to try this in my waterponics, my aquaponics, uh, to where I've been buying these small trash cans and small, uh, Home Depot containers with the lids, and um, I've got a three-inch cutting wheel on the drill, and I've got three-inch net cups. And so you get rid of all the soil, wash it, wash the roots away, and then um, I've got these uh, clay, clay round bead type things, um, and you end up repotting it in the net cups and then, which I've got a whole bunch of net cups and then dropping it down in the hole that you've cut in either these uh, trash bins that I bought or um, the Home Depot pots. I, I think the trash bins are going to end up being kind of overkill because the roots just don't get down there very far. Um, but yet they give nice, really great height for things to drape over, like my cucumber plant that's in the living room. There's a few things in the living room right now that uh, now that I'm back from Florida and it's about the right time, I'm going to start bringing some things out, um, all my heavy, heavy water things. But I already, I've been saving some uh, containers of um, cranberry juice so I will take the 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 new trash cans that don't have any water in them yet and I'll first bring those out then I'll fill up all these cranberry juice containers with handles and scoop out the water that has the um the um fertilizer in it and i'll start carrying the water jugs out there to the empty trash container this is how i'll make the transfer and then um i'll take the lid with the net cup from the existing trash can that's in the house and that's how I'll transfer like my cucumber and then my tomato plant and then my wandering Jew indoor plant that I'm going to uh, let grow outside um, this uh, summer. Uh, it, I'll test it out to see whether it's going to get burnt, you know, like the uh, leaves. Um, it, it needs some shade, so I'll make sure it gets shade or else it'll go back into the house. And I have a dog kennel that I'm going to bring these trash can and Home Depot containers into so that my dog won't mess around with with this. And then I've got a chicken coop dog can, uh dog uh, house deal that will also get some of my aquaponics also now these since they're pretty 
Um, and if I'm going to try the aquaponics with these, uh, I'll put these in the front of the house and I guess probably we'll use the trash containers and let them drape over them. I mean, they're kind of nice. Well, I have to film this, but they're gray and they should look good um, once they start draping over it. Um, and you know, they'll, and they just, they won't be drying out all the time if they're in this aquaponic type solution. So, um, so I want to get some of that going, but yeah, I also want to say subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And you know, I just want to have all these things going and like with the wonder, oh yeah, well with my Etsy store, I, I'm going to be diverting from um, dog toys, but I am going to offer clippings. Okay, so yeah. So see, some of these things are going to be connected. Um, clippings, plant plant clippings. So my Wandering Jew, eventually I'll be selling plant clippings on my Etsy store. Um, people are paying... Well, it's funny. You know, I've got a... Facebook group site in which I'm talking about stock trades in which, you know, if I make a quick trade, not a day trade, but over a couple of day period of time, and I'm saying, yeah, okay, so I made about two, maybe $3,000 with that quick day trade. And then on the other hand, I'm going to be saying, oh, yeah, you know, I I took a few clippings from the Wandering Jew plant, and yeah, I probably raked in like three bucks <laughs> off of that. You know, got free clippings. That's almost like selling guppies, pregnant guppies, you know, like I thought about as a nine-year-old. I don't know, but um, so no clippings from this. These are just annuals, just to be pretty, but it always just gives me a thrill, like probably with most gardeners, that you just start with a small plant, like buy small and buy, buy low and sell high. Um, so like and, like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. I'm going to be one of those people. And yeah, I really, really want to grow my YouTube channel. I would really, really like to grow my Facebook um, investment channel. And I also would like to grow my Facebook, I guess I said channel, but um, uh, yeah, I've, I've got several Facebook groups. Um, I also have some Facebook pages, although it seems like Facebook is trying not to um, allow you to form pages these days. It seems to be pushing for you to form groups. Um, so, uh, but I do still have some Facebook pages, but I also have Facebook groups and another Facebook group that I have is called Right Side Runway. And that will be to try to eventually have fashion shows for Republican women to um, hold fundraisers and to find different ways to uh, get together and have fun that's different than just having um, political pundits make speeches because there's a lot of that that takes place at Republican women's groups. And, you know, you can have the most popular people. You know, you can have a Sean Hannity or um, a Judge Jeannie and, you know, people... People will attend because it's it's kind of cool to have 
one of them show up at your meeting, but you know exactly what they're going to say because everybody everybody watches them on TV every night. And so you're not going to hear an original thought from them. So, um, and then everyone is glued to what they say. So when you're there at the event, everyone is hush, hush, shh, you know, don't, don't chit chat to each other at the table. You know, that would be impolite. You know, you're there to hear them speak. You're, so you're not meeting any fellow women Republican and it's, so it ends up not being a social event. It ends up where you're not sharing ideas about waving rally cards on the street corner or how to um, write postcards to send to potential voters or or how to do phone banks or anything. You're just there doing what you would do by yourself at home, uh, watching Sean Hannity once again talk about the same things he's been talking about for years. And so... Um, so this right side uh, runway is to continue an idea that I saw Alice Butler Short do. And, um, and I, I, lear I learned after the fact that other Republican groups occasionally did fashion shows, which I didn't realize. But um, so that's... It's way outside of my knowledge base, my personality, uh, kind of my comfort zone. So uh, the group is to get people together. Now I can at least bring it that far. Like, all right. Now, can you people talk to each other and figure out how to do this? Okay, like, talk among yourselves here. Talk among yourselves and how about uh, doing a fashion show? Yeah, I got you all together now. And of course, that's probably not going to be, be the way it works. Uh, probably the group will say, okay, so who started this site? Uh, who's the uh, original admin? So when are we going to have our fashion show? And I'm going to say, um, hmm. yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, then. Alrighty, then. Let's see. Yeah. How, uh, yeah. How about that, then? Um, so, but sometimes, and this happens pretty often with me sometimes it's like uh i think of an idea and then all of a sudden before you know it boom 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 i've got a facebook group and it's like well <laughs> well there it is you know, the Facebook groups are easy to do and free. So it's not as if you have to pay for a domain name and get a website going. Um, it's like, there it is, people. <laughs> if you build it, they will come. <laughs> as, which is, of course, not true. You have to start. Oh, um, you have to start, um, uh, what's that fancy word? You have to start leveraging off of what you've previously created. So all of my previously created Facebook groups get leveraged upon <laughs> in order to announce the newest, you know. Uh, so, you know, um, because I 
have since 20, what, 15 or so, been creating these type of sites and because people have the similar interests, um, the later sites can end up growing quicker than the early ones, although the early ones took off um, rapidly because of the sudden interest in Donald Trump. So they're, um, they have, you know, slowed, slowed, slowed down now. But, um, but anyway, so those are a few things going on, but, um, uh, so, yeah, this, this isn't the most earth shattering of, uh, videos here, but, um, but yeah, okay, so the other variety is called bubblegum. I usually get the bubblegum, but it was not only a small little, just like this, it, not only was it small, but it was a very faded out pink color. So um, I was concerned that, you know, I, that, you know, Plus, um, my, the front of my house is red brick, so I thought this would be a more solid color. So anyway, that's a recommendation for uh, that even though it's, uh, I think those plants are, are more expensive than getting little um, flats of uh, petunias, those really go crazy. So, alrighty, that's it. Okay, bye bye. Oh, not using my mouse. I'm because I'm. This is the phone. Okay, bye bye.